Hi everyone, hope you can see me from all the way back over there. I've just set the camera up over there so you can see that we're all set up today for um, doing a terrarium, a bottled bonsai if you like. Um, we're surrounded by all the equipment that we're going to need. We've got our terrarium cylinder, we have a lagustrum tree that we need to do some work on. Uh, we have some fern, and we have a tray of a tray of succulents uh, sat here. So um, we'll be able to use them as some accents, accent plants. And we've got some rocks and some moss and a few other little bits, you know, that we can think about putting in. So. Let's get started first of all by preparing our tree. So yes, here we are again. We've got um, our terrarium cylinder, our tree, uh, a fern that we're going to use as a bit of an accent plant. We'll just put that out of the way for now. We've got some soil in our pot there. And uh, we'll just move the cylinder out of the way for now. and bring our tree in because we're going to have to do a little bit of work on this before we can um, think about putting it in into the uh, terrarium. So um, what we'll do is we'll have a good look at it and we'll have to do some branch selection for what we're working with. Um, in case I haven't already said this is a ligustrum the same as the, uh, the terrarium plant that I showed you yesterday. Um, and it's putting out some new small growth so we need to bring this back make a, a compact canopy and um, make it so that it's going to look well inside the uh, terrarium planting that we're going to make up and uh, that it will be okay going forward you know we haven't got to pull it straight back out there to do lots of work on it So there's a lot of uh, branching within the canopy of this tree because it's it's had some attention but not really good uh, pruning done. It's, it's had profile pruning, profile pruning, profile pruning all the time. So all the ramification in the middle is here, there and everywhere um, and really needs taking back quite a way to um, to get it to a, a position where it looks a lot better for a, for a bonsai. So we need to just go come into it and make some decisions as to what branches we're going to keep but we'll just take some of these branches that are going up high back to their first set of leaves and that will give our normal canopy size but then we've got lots of other action going on in here where it's just been left to grow and grow and grow it's dropped straight out of the pot there so there's lots of um, roots in there so we're gonna have to have some uh, root work done on that there's this root that comes round and drops up horrible looking root really that's going to want chopping off more than likely there's a growth out here it's not the nicest looking tree um, but in the terrarium it will go quite well so we'll not uh, do too much heavy work like we would do in the normal bonsai uh, stance that we would take um, because we want it to look nice and green inside the terrarium um, but we will do some branch selection to uh, just to reduce it so it's not too thick and too heavy. So with it out of the pot we can see that it comes up and divides it divided into two there maybe this one died off and it, and it was cut back and then there's a branch coming out down below so this is our new leader here taking over from the original uh, main flow of the 
of the branch of the trunk sorry um, so I think maybe um, we've definitely got a branch going up out of the join of where that uh, lower branch comes off but I'm just wondering whether we need to remove that one it doesn't look too bad um, but uh, I think we definitely need to lose the one in the middle that goes straight up from that section so we'll take that out there's another one that comes off the same point at the back we'll get rid of that that's thin that out straight away it comes out nicely and moves around but from this point here we've got four coming from the same point so just to simplify that we'll take out a little top one and we'll take out the little bottom one they were pretty dead anyway so they weren't doing a great deal and then they go on and uh, carry on branching and ramify again and again and again so they're they're not too bad for where for where they're at um, there's a branch here that goes straight up and then interferes with a lot of the canopy inside and I'm just wondering whether we should get rid of that altogether or whether to just bring it back a ways from where it goes up and into the canopy I'll have a think about that and come back to make that decision off of the other side we have quite a bit coming out of the same junction some smaller branches that we can just take away that one's dead so we'll take that away and there's one coming out of the back we'll just take that away there's a small one coming off the side which makes that look like a bit of a barbell sort of branching so we'll take the outside one off and then there's a branch on the inside going up and slightly inwards we'll take that away and then this branch comes off divides into two there and then comes up here and divides into three the top part has been taken out previously that just needs tidying up um, we just need to trim some of these back branches back that are crossing the actual structure of these aren't too bad but they are crossing quite a lot and some are going upwards and in different ways and you can see that some of them didn't get light so they've not had any branching until they've got outside the canopy <clears throat> so there's a, a branch that comes off here that interferes quite a lot at a strange place so we'll just take that off then there's some nice branching off the flow of the leader um, that will have some major decision making to do as we go forward there's a branch there that we can just take away um, there's a branch on the inside here just to trim back and take away and there's one that goes through into some space which is dead so we'll just trim that off which will give other branches space to grow into this one's coming across nicely there's some nice branching coming off that that's okay there is an internal branch off a junction there that I'll just take away we've got one branch that comes off the inside up here that's got quite a bit on it but it's going totally the wrong way so we'll get rid of that uh, 
and then out of those flow lines we have one going straight up which we will take that one away and then just turning it around to look at what's the front we've got a branch interfering with some others which looks like it's carrying a little bit of foliage at the front but the two at the back aren't doing too well so we'll just get rid of those we will have to make a decision with these one going straight up and one crossing but at the moment when it goes in it will look nice enough to keep that in there's a branch up there that's got nothing on it we'll just remove that uh, wasn't going to do too much work on this but um, ended up taking quite a bit away we'll just take the tip off of that one that had nothing on it I'm just looking at the the branch here that goes up and then dives straight across I think really we need to get rid of that it's going to take a lot of uh, green foliage away with it but I do think that that needs to go because it's crossing the branches that are, that are on the other side the only other option is to take this branch off from this side which removes all of that which totally unbalances the tree so we'll see where we are when we come back to that I will just tidy up this stump here we'll come in with some branch pruners and just uh, tidy that away so that's tidied that up just uh, clean it up a bit more And that will hopefully heal over nicely we may need to take it back a bit more in the future but there are that, that branch that comes across is interfering with a number of branches on the other side um, but I think for now I'm going to leave that to grow and then make some decisions going forward because it's going to sit inside a terrarium so it's totally different to what we I would normally do with a bonsai so um, I'm not going to take any more off or I'm going to end up with uh, just a stick if I keep going so we'll keep it at that and we'll just have a look at the roots to see what we've got going on so I've just changed this onto a shorter tripod I've had the taller tripod out so that we could have a better view uh, overviewing the um, the potential uh, terrarium as it's done but obviously we've got this lower down work to do first so um, <clears throat> now that we're working on the roots I've put it on the lower uh, tripod here so that you can see what we've got you know I, I love to see the roots when I'm watching videos so it would always frustrate me if I couldn't see so uh, we've got a better view now coming in from this lower angle so that's the change in the transition so we're just raking out in a radial pattern and we've got a fair amount of nice roots in there um, we've got this big bulbous looking root out of the top I'm hoping that we can potentially do something with that but I'd be quite happy to uh, to leave that in as a as a feature if we can't really do anything with it um, inside the terrarium it's not going to look too much of a major problem so we'll just uh, switch to the bottom and break out the bottom of this oh, we've got a lot of uh, soil dropping off there's the drainage screen we've got some nice roots here it looks like a, a nice radial root system we've got to work with we uh, think we've only repotted this the once since we got it so the work before we got it must have been good and the work that we did 
last time, I think it was just before my trip to, I think it was Poland uh, I was going to, I think I repotted this uh, along with the other few trees that I got early hours of the morning and uh, yeah no the roots on this look really nice really nice radial coming outwards nice flowing down so yeah that's that's really really nice and we count continuously <coughs> I think we've got a large bit of something in the bottom here that will keep working away and in a moment we'll rinse these out but I think we've got a nice nice amount of roots to work with here it's uh, sat in really really nicely I'm quite quite happy and quite impressed with those to be fair <clears throat> So I think what I'll do is I'll just uh, give them a, a bit of a rinse to get uh, the soil out of the of the inside here and that will show us what roots we've got to work with but I'm really quite happy with what we've discovered here so far. Really nice roots. So I'll just give the roots a quick rinse and they do look really nice, really good. There's some good, you know, equalisation of vigour throughout the root system. There are obviously some that are longer than others and some that are uh, quite short. We've got a section here that hasn't done a great deal. Um, but on the whole, that is... Uh, Pretty good considering we only did some root pruning um, late at night that one time as I was heading heading off. Um, so what we'll do is we'll just uh, trim the roots off just to equalise them. There's none. There's a few underneath, maybe just to tidy up and trim off. But there's really nothing. Um, to worry about too much so we'll literally just trim them off to equalize them the underneath is pretty spot on it sits nicely um, I have been looking at and thinking about this bulbous part that's come out the side they were obviously some sort of root originally um, and I think to try and take that off we would remove pretty much half of the root system if not more so I'm quite happy to this is our front I'm quite happy to have this as a feature even though it's not a a proper feature as far as bonsai goes but in the terrarium it will just add to the um, the interest I would say uh, as you look in so uh, we'll not remove that at least not now and um, we'll now look at trying to get the terrarium ready for our planting so here we are with the terrarium in position on our turn table and the first thing that I'm going to do is put a layer of lava rock in the bottom which will allow for the water to drain into the bottom and then we'll have some finer layers of uh, substrate as we come up. So I'll just pull out some of this lava rock now. That's a, a quick look at what we've got. Some of them are quite large as you can see so wouldn't really be ideal for standard you know, bonsai work. But as far as having it in the bottom of our terrarium planting here, 
it'll be ideal to sit at the bottom. So that's our layer of lava rock in there. The next thing we're going to put in is my standard bonsai mix just to uh, help fill in some of the gaps and give it some uh, something to sit on. So we'll put that in. The next level uh, substrate that I've got is a mixture, a bonsai mixture of 50% perlite and 50% fluorite. Fluorite is um, similar to turfus, um, but obviously here in the UK we don't get turfus, and I've always used a different type of clay particle to um, to achieve the 50/50. Uh, mix. Now we had that bad. We had that bad experience um, with the clay mix last time, where they changed the clay uh, that I was buying, and it was going to mush. So fortunately, we've we've repotted and saved most of these things. Um, but uh, yeah, I was watching uh, a new channel, a relatively new channel, the other day. Um, Tom of um, Bonsai for Seniors. I'll put a link in the uh, thing in the chat below in the description. Uh, Tom has got a channel, um, obviously as the title says, Bonsai for Seniors, but uh, don't let the, the channel uh, title fool you. Uh, Tom's got a lot of knowledge and experience um, that he was imparting on to uh, seniors at a local community centre until obviously this COVID situation hit and unfortunately they're not able to meet anymore but um, through the power of YouTube he's able to continue his lessons um, and the, like I say the channel is called Bonsai for Seniors um, but I think it could be Bonsai for everybody there's a lot to be learned from Tom he's uh, a great guy go over there and have a look um, hopefully he'll uh, continue to put some videos out he's got uh, like I say He's got a wealth of knowledge and experience there and um, we can all probably learn a bit of something from him. So that being said, um, I got the fluorite delivered after Tom had mentioned it on his uh, video most recently when he was doing lemons, uh, lemons from lemon seeds he was putting in and uh, he mentioned that um, he can't get turfus where he is either. Uh, so he uses the fluorite clay particles. So I thought, well, here we go. I'll give that a shot. So I'm not taking any credit for this. This is Tom's mix. And uh, this is the first time I'm going to be using it in a terrarium. So uh, I think it will do really well. Uh, very similar to the, um, to the turfus mix that I've used before. And um, yeah, I think this will be okay. So let's put a layer of this in. We'll mound it into the middle a little bit. And we're almost getting to the stage where we can sit our tree on top. So we have our tree here, this is the front of the uh, tree, I was looking at the wrong side then. This is the front with our strange zigzagging of the root and the trunk, the trunk going round from where it once was. It's what we've got so I'm going to stick with it and uh, hope that uh, you know we get some good things from it. So let's um, carefully place this inside our container. Oh, 
I'm just uh, make it so it stands nicely and then we just need to come in with some additional soil around the edges probably getting a little bit high now we need to start thinking about I'm just going to turn it around to me I need to start thinking about getting the um, the soil in for building up our uh, our scenery so we'll just see if we can Dress that in. This this is this has got quite the amount of um, greenery in here, so we'll just work the soil in to the roots a bit as best we can from up here, and then just I know I'm agitating it a bit too much. Just get it round the front side. I don't know how I'm going to get the other bits in, but we'll we'll work with it. So that's our tree, pretty much in its position. I want to try and place this rock with some nice moss into the background. So we can see that and then I've got some other moss that can create Now we've got some of these kits that I'm going to put in around the around the uh, front edge near the tree. We'll just trim some of those searching root bits off. They'll grow lovely. They always do. So we'll just get those placed in. cluster of three I was going to put that fern in there but it's beginning to look quite a bit busy in there now so I think what we'll do is we'll get some potting soil and just place that around all the edges and around the sides so I'll get the potting soil so I've got some household potting mix uh, this contains uh, ceramis which is a water retaining compound so um, when the roots are searching out it should be able to give them some uh, some soil uh, some some water when things are a bit dry in there so I'm just going to try and place this around to uh, get it just to cover a thin layer across the bonsai soil
So I'll just come in with the rake and rake the soil around and off of our moss, etc. So the only other thing that uh, that I would do, and I might just have a look to see if I can do, is I would use some of our gravel top mix and I would make it so that there was some sort of pathway going through. And I think I might just try and create a bit of uh, a pathway just through this moss patch here. Um, I think that could look quite nice if we can get the... Uh, the gravel down and into that section. It could be that uh, the path comes in and this is a bit of a an area where people come to have a picnic or something. So I'll get the uh, the gravel and we'll put it into that little bit of an area and see what it looks like. So here we are with the gravel. I'm going to try and pinch it into the shovel and try and get it exactly there to where we need it. So I'll just do that again. One more. So we'll just go in, chopstick, just knock the, the pathway out of the moss and just bring it into our area. So I'll get cleaned up and we'll come back and have a look at exactly what we've done and where we're at. So here we are with our completed terrarium. Um, it was done quite quickly. Uh, we rushed through it a little bit to squeeze it into a video. Um, obviously, if you do the same, maybe take a little bit more time uh, preparing your, your uh, terrarium, your bottle, your cylinder, whatever you use. Um, get your tree right, get, you know, make sure that you're happy with it. I'm quite happy with the, the accents and the moss that we have, the little bit of scenery that we have within here. It could be better. We'll probably revisit it and have a, and have a look at it. I've watered it in ever so slightly, but it is bone dry down the bottom. So it'll be some steady watering just to get a bit of moisture into the bottom. Uh, but you can see the little kits there just in place. Our little gravel path entering into that uh, muddy area, which hopefully that will you know encourage the moss to grow a little bit further across. The moss looks like bushes, so that's all nice and good. And then we have this mountain rock with some growth on the top of it here. You know, it all looks very nice, I think. Um, I think any terrarium done, I don't think you can really do a bad one. Um, but uh, obviously, have a go at it yourselves. I'll be interested to uh, to see anybody that you know any that anybody does. Um, and what we'll probably do is we'll do another video on these in future. But we'll break it down into probably a two or three parter where we prepare the uh, terrarium, we prepare our soil, we get it all ready, and then we do it and go into it. But for now. I'm Scott Winard, this is Let's Do Bonsai, and we'll see you again in the next one.